Welcome, this is Bloomberg Queen's News at One. We get you the day's updates in less than a couple of minutes and we start off with the Indian rupee which has breached the 75 mark against the dollar for the first time in history. As outflows from the country, stocks and bonds accelerated amidst a global rout in risk assets. The rupee has retreated 1% to 75.0 and traders cited state-run banks selling dollars in a bid to ease the currency's drop. So far this month, the rupee has weakened 2.9%. India now has 169 cases related to coronavirus with Maharashtra continuing to report the highest number of active cases in the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address the nation today at 8 p.m. during which he will talk about issues related to COVID-19 and efforts to combat it. Meanwhile, CBSE and IIT JEE exams have been postponed. Trading halted on the U.S. markets as the S&P 500 fell 7%, triggering a market-wide trading hitch. The Dow Jones also fell 7.85%. The New York Stock Exchange will close trading floors and go fully electronic from Monday after two people tested positive for the virus on its floor. Worldwide coronavirus cases hit over 210,000 and deaths exceeded 8,600. The Chinese province of Wuhan, the center of the outbreak, however, reported no new cases for the first time since the pathogen emerged more than two months ago. Early drug trials on patients infected with the coronavirus have yielded mixed results. And in times of isolation due to the coronavirus, Ellen DeGeneres is keeping herself occupied and how. The popular American comedian tries to pass her time in quarantine by practicing card tricks, and we can't say that she is all that good at it. Deck of cards, okay, they're all different. You can see that. I can't see them. I don't know what card is what. I'm going to pick a card, I'm going to call it out, and then I'm going to just find it, okay? Four of hearts, six of hearts, it's very close. I'm going to try it two more times. Four of hearts, six of diamonds. One more time, four of hearts. All right, try to figure something out. That's your wrap on News at One. Stay tuned to Bloomberg Queen for more news and updates.